Peace and Hello family that got us to love is back. I welcome you all with open arms to my love child family. Give thanks for allowing this interchange to take existence. Give thanks for tuning into my channel and give thanks for everything in this current moment I say. So family, today is day 10 of the first magnetic moon and the galactic signature we have for today is the red crystal skywalker. We have the seal which is the red skywalker. And then we have the tone, which is crystal. And when you put it all together, we get the galactic signature of the day, which is the red crystal skywalker. Ken, two, three, three. The day of the week is gamma, which is Wednesday. Now, the keywords of today is dedicate, universal, cooperation, explore, wakefulness, and space. You want to utilize these keywords throughout your day in order to help you tap into the energy of the red crystal sky worker. So just make sure you're utilizing these um, keywords throughout the day. And if you want to activate the galactic signature of the day, just recite this affirmation and you can meditate on this galactic signature. So the affirmation is, I dedicate in order to explore universal wakefulness. I feel the output of space with the crystal tone of cooperation. I am guided by the power of life force. Family, what is this galactic signature, which is the red crystal skywalker? What is the energy of today? What is the energy of the galactic signature today? Well, family, today we are exploring the expanded space created in our pure mind which brings about crystalline communication through our expanded consciousness. You see, the communication channels are wide open as the messages from spirits flow in elevating our minds. The channels are wide open for spirits to communicate with us today, for spirits to give us those messages today, for spirits to give us those warnings today. So make sure you are tapping in. Make sure that you are aware of your environment, that you are aware of your surroundings, and just make sure that you are open and receptive to the messages and the uh, warnings and the signs that spirits will be giving you today because that channel is wide open today. Through cooperation today, new frameworks can be expanded with confidence and security. Focus on creating balance in your life between your present expression and your galactic expanded star seed self. That's what you want to focus on today. Focus on creating that balance between who you are right now in this material world and your galactic expanded star seed self. Also, our personal and collective divine mission at this time is to act as a light that holds conducting light through our avatars, our vessels. Focus on emptying your focus on emptying your avatar, this vessel, you know, this vessel that we chose to uh, basically live in throughout this lifetime. You want to focus on emptying that. You know, emptying this avatar from the toxins, from the baggage, and the debris so that you're able to hold in more light and conduct it. You're not going to be able to hold in more light and conduct that if you're full of toxins, if you have a whole bunch of baggage. Like Erica Badu said, bag lady, you're going to hurt your back. You got to get rid of that baggage. Let it go. Them toxins, let it go. The debris, let it go. Why? So that you are able to just fill yourself up with light, more light, and more light, and more light, and you'll be able to conduct that light without all the heaviness weighing on you. So free yourself from all that so that you're able to just embody all that light and be able to conduct that. Today, I want you to practice harmony. It's time to sparkle so that others can naturally gravitate toward your light. It's time for you to sparkle. It's time for you to shine your light. And some of us have already been shining our light, but guess what? Our light is just going to get brighter and brighter and brighter and brighter. So make sure that you are doing that and just watch how people naturally gravitate toward you, naturally gravitate toward your light, naturally just want to hear what you have to say and what you have to share and just want to be around you. Be that twinkling star that flows in an ocean of light. 
I'm that twinkling star that flows in the ocean of light. And I encourage you, and I encourage you, and I encourage all of y'all to be that twinkling star that flows in the ocean of light. How about we all be that twinkling star that flows into the ocean of light for those of you who are chosen? It takes teamwork to make the dream work. It takes teamwork to make the dream work. Use your mind today. Use your mind to connect to the force that connects all hearts and minds to God consciousness. So today, focus on meditating. Today, focus on decluttering your mind. Today, take a mental break. Those mental breaks are very, very important. Take a mental break. You know, go on a mental diet. We fill our minds up with so much things that doesn't even serve our higher purpose or that doesn't even matter. And we're not creating space and room for more light to embody us so that we're able to connect us. We're not creating more room for new opportunities to come into our life, to flow into our life, or creating room so that we can create new opportunities so that, we're our, so that we are able to manifest the life that we are deserving of. We got to free up some space. Free up some space. Today, share some sacred knowledge that unites heaven and earth. If you have some sacred knowledge, today is a good day for you to share it. Like, don't hold it all in to yourself. If spirit allows you to share it, then share it. Why? Because there's some, some people out there, including myself, that can really, really benefit and utilize some of that knowledge. You know, each one teach one. Each one, teach one. So make sure that you share some knowledge today, family. The galactic signature of today is the Red Crystal Skywalker. Red Crystal Skywalker, Ken 233. With that being said, make sure y'all out here protecting yourselves spiritually, mentally, physically, and emotionally in all worlds, in all realms, in all universes, from all corners and directions, north, south, east, and west. Make sure that y'all out here divinely protected and just protecting yourself from all psychic attacks because you never know when an individual or a being or whatever is coming at you. You just never know. So if you have that shield of protection around yourself, you don't have to worry about it. It don't matter how you protect yourself. It's multiple ways that you can protect yourself. Where do you want to wear the healing crystals? Where do you want to use your visualization just to visualize a, a bright, bright shield of protection just expanding and expanding and expanding around you? Where do you want to use your words and just state that I am divinely protected? You can take a... Uh, mm, spiritual bath, a cleansing spiritual bath, uh, you can put a cloak on to make yourself a little more invisible to all of the organic portals, the average Joes and Jays, the non-players, the, um, you know, there's so many names for them out there, the gang stalkers, you know, it's, whatever you're doing, just make sure you're protecting yourself. Whatever you're doing, just make sure you're protecting yourself because, like I've stated and I will state in each one of my videos, there's a spiritual war going on. And guess what? They're coming for your soul. Not this vessel, but your soul. That's what they want. So make sure that you're protecting yourself. I don't say this to scare you. I'm not fear mongling at all. I say this because I love y'all. And I want y'all to get it. If y'all choose to get it, if y'all open and receptive to it. So with that being said, family, peace and healing. The goddess of love is out. Until next time.